All right, now we're going to talk music some more with Trevor Daly from Invercargill, who is the convener of the Southland Musos Club. How are you, Trevor? I'm very well, thanks, Leanne. How are you? Very good. And uh, actually, are you president as well? I'm, pres- I'm president of the South Musicians Club and chair of the Hall of Fame committee. That's the one. Okay, apologies. Which, which for... is a bit of a mouthful. Yes, it is, but uh, we better get it straight before we kick off. Yeah, great to talk to you, Trevor. And I know you've, you're uh, uh, pretty thick uh, in it with preparations for w- what's happening this weekend at Ascot Park Hotel in Invercargill. Yep. A big celebration. So what's it all about? Why is it happening? Okay, well, the... Um Southland Music Hall of Fame uh, is celebrating 20 years this year. So um, we thought it was a very good opportunity to get back uh, some of the stars of shows from the past. So um, we have bands playing that haven't played together for... or some some of the bands haven't played together for 20-odd years. Um, so we've got the Teen Beat 5, The Answer, The Vision and Route 66. So a fantastic lineup. Oh, yeah, fantastic. And, I mean, some people listening perhaps further afield might not know some of these names, but they are legendary bands in the South. And I've got to, I've got to confess right now that, Trevor, you and I have a bit of a, a link in that respect because you played with the Vision <laughs> at my wedding, for goodness sakes. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Uh, just just a couple of years back. and uh, <laughs> Yeah, um, only 25 I, years ago. I certainly, I, I certainly remember it as being a great night too. Fantastic. Oh, it was. And, and you... You looked so good on the dance floor. Absolutely great. <laughs> well, I was 25 years younger then, you know. Yeah, yeah hey, yeah. weren't we all? <laughs> oh, golly. I, actually, I have a horrible memory of, uh, of drunkenly staggering up and taking the mic at one point, but we won't, we won't go there, will we? Yeah, no, we won't, we won't go there. No. I'll tell you one thing to, to, to the Vision's credit, though. I remember, so my partner Phil, he said, look... You know, if we get a band, it's got to be The Vision. I'm from Invercargill, and these guys are the best. And I'm going, are you sure you know what you're doing? You know, typical North Islander, you know. You, you, you know, and, and, and you guys rocked up, and uh, and I was like, yeah, uh, you know, I haven't heard them, Phil, but I'm trusting you. First song, and I, I was like, holy hell, these guys are really, really professional and very, very good. So, yeah. and, and Oh, that's very nice. Very nice of you to say that. Oh no, it was, and uh, you entered. Everyone adored it. Now, what's so? So it's twenty years. How did, how did it all yep. begin? You know, this this whole concept, this this club. Yeah. Well, it 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 all it all um, goes down to one guy, really, by, a guy by the name of Neil McDermott, who um, who came up with the the idea of of hey, why don't we honour our Southland musos um, who have. Um, you know, been performing for many years, and uh, he came up with the concept of the uh, originally the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, um, but since then we've we've expanded it to the Music Hall of Fame because we felt that there was a lot of uh, musicians in 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 the Cargill and Southland um, who were very worthy of uh, recognition, but who were perhaps not in the the rock. Uh, genre, you know. Yeah, of course. So uh, yeah, so that all started twenty years ago. And and it must have been quite small at the time, you know. We're, we're, if we if we roll back the clock twenty years, uh, Invercargill a, a bit a bit more quiet. Was was Tim Shabbat still there? Um, uh, he might have been. Twenty years ago, I don't know whether I can't remember whether he was still yeah, there, same. whether he was mayor there or not, there or not. Actually, yeah. <laughs> it's all just it's all just a blur, you know. <laughs> it is. Tw- <laughs> Twenty years has gone yeah. like that, and yeah, yeah. So, so you've got four four bands, just four bands playing yep. this weekend. How how are you going to run the whole thing? Yeah, well, um, we're we're not actually doing well. I was going to say we weren't actually doing any inductions this year, but we we are actually going to do one. But I I won't say any more than that. Um, but normally normally we induct about uh, four or five people into the Hall of Fame every year, and and they they perform with their band, you know. But that bit bit of a different format this year, and because of the fact that most of the guys playing are actually already in the Hall of Fame. So uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, and like uh, Team Beat Five, we've actually got uh, John Heads coming all the way from the USA to play. Really, you know, which is which is amazing. It, and isn't um, it? yeah, and and one of the other guys in the Hall of Fame, uh, poor old Russell, he's he's in very bad health, but he has 
determined to to come and play uh, a set with the boys, you know. Um, so you know that that's that's the sort of thing that the Hall of Fame does, does. That's, for musos, you know. That's amazing, yep. and he's he's going to to come along anyway. I suppose. Well, this yep. is the thing, you know. Twenty years it does a lot to people, doesn't it? Not everyone comes through in flying colours, health wise. Yes. Yes, that's right. And and in fact, um, most of the bands have have sort of augmented uh, uh, with with uh, different guys who are, are filling in to replace guys who are uh, unable to be with us, mostly because of the the sands of time, as it were. Mm, mm, that's right. Yeah. And, and so there'll also be there'll be some some sort of bittersweet memories as you go through the weekend. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. There'll be there'll be a lot of uh, a lot of stories told. <laughs> I reckon. Yeah, now, and some of them might even be true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there'll be a lot of lies told, you reckon, I reckon. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So Neil McDermott, what a terrific man he is. He got a QSM earlier this year for all his work That's with, right. with, exactly. with yeah. the Hall of Fame. Yeah. And he sort of said, yeah. look, I've, you know, I worked hard. I, I talked to him yesterday and he said, I worked so hard on this and, uh, and now I'm, I've handed it over. But he, he, you know, without people like Neil, uh, it wouldn't be in the shape it's in, would it, uh, the, the Musos Club in South Oh, Hall. well, I mean, he, he came up with the idea of doing it and, uh, you know, we, we can never take that away from Neil. It was, it was his baby and, uh, yeah, and here, here it is turning 20. Yeah, wonderful. Do you, do you see it just continuing on and on and getting stronger? Uh, one of the problems, Leanne, is that um, a lot of the the guys that are being inducted into the Hall of Fame now, guys and girls, I should say, mm. um, are, are a little bit younger. And in fact, a lot of them are still gigging. Although, you know, I mean, obviously they have, have had to done 25 years before they before they um, qualify. So we don't quite have the nostalgia kick like we've got this this weekend with these bands that people can't see, you know. So it, it, we we have taken it back just a little bit, but I'm, I'm sure it is going to survive, albeit in, a, in a, a slightly different format. Okay, interesting. So there'll be all sorts of music uh, to listen to this weekend, or will it be mostly rock? Um, well, it's all, well, yeah, it, it mo mostly will be rock, but mm. um, I tell you what, there won't be any songs there that the people don't know. Um, if, if they can't sing the verse, they will at least be able to sing along to the chorus of every song, you know, <laughs> because um, it's all, it, it, you know, sort of 60s to 80s sort of stuff. Yep. Yeah, wonderful. Because that's the, that's the era that these bands played, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So I mean, and and people people love that. I want to ask you though, Trevor. Why do you think why do you think there's such a there's such a strong musical presence in the south? What's what's the secret? Oh, look, that's uh, it, it's really hard to put our finger on it. But um, yeah, I, yeah, it, 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 I really wish I could bottle it and sell it, you know, because uh, I'd make a fortune. Mm. Um, our, uh, I would put our, our South and Musos um, up against anywhere in the country, you know. Mm. Um, I mean, we do we do shows like I'm speaking now of the, the Musos Club, um, like we do a show called Guitar Legends. Um, again, I think it's probably the only the only place in New Zealand that does it, where we have a house band and we have twenty guitarists come out and do a a tribute to their their favourite guitarists on the day. Mm. And uh, you know the standard of that is just just mind blowing, really, the, of the of, of the guitarists and that, and the and the house band too, of course, you know. Mm. Yeah, that's uh, right. Yeah, uh, pretty pretty proud of, of South. You know, I'm I'm really proud to be associated with music in Southland because you know we we are top notch. Mm. If, if I can blow if I can blow our own trumpet, now is just the time to do that. Trevor, yeah. <laughs> right now, yeah. because we hear a lot about the Dunedin sound, but I don't think people yep. realise, and particularly the rock genre is really well serviced in Invercargill. Like I don't know, there's this, it's almost yep. like that, that Australian, you know, that, that meaty uh, pub rock sound that the Aussies, you know, sort of got into in the, in the sure. 70s. And I think, you know, Invercargill, it, it gravitates towards that, perhaps more heavy music, but played incredibly well with yeah. brilliant guitar That's skills. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, the the other the other thing too, though, um, Leanne, is uh, this this show on on Saturday, of course, will be 
be all 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 covers because uh, that that was what these bands did. Mm. But a lot of the younger bands uh, in and in the in the cargo now are doing original music, and a lot of it is really fantastic. Mm. Yeah, and, and know, this is to um, be encouraged. And of course, isn't it? Uh, uh, so, say again, sorry. Something really to be encouraged too. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, and 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 um, certainly the musicians club is a place uh, that does encourage um, original music. Uh, a, a, a lot more acceptable now. Like in in the old days uh, when these bands played, um, nobody was interested in uh, original music. A lot, a lot of them weren't even interested in New Zealand music. You know, so mm. th things have changed uh, for the better. That's such a good point. I think it took until, what, the 80s perhaps before we started realising that we should be proud of our homegrown product as well. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah, yep. And, um, y y you know, w one of the, the problems probably for uh, our local bands down here is that it is hard for them to get airplay and that, you know. Um, mm. So, uh, you know, qu qu quite a few of them do the original thing and they have a covers band on the side, you know, so just to, to pay the bills, as it were. Well, that's right, and, and there seems to be always a demand for, for sort of good cover bands, you know, who can, yep, yep. you know, think a of it. Absolutely. You know, we'll look, we'll look at us. And we got married and we and, hired and the at vision. The end of <laughs> you know. <Yeah. laughs> at, at the end of the day, Leanne, it's about giving the customers what they want, you know. Yeah, that's that's dead right, you know. You know, you know uh, the um, a lot of the the punters that go to pubs and that actually still, yeah. and I mean not just in Invercargill, I think everywhere uh, they want to hear um, songs they can sing along to, you know. Um, so it does make it hard for original bands to to find venues to play, you know. Mm. So that's why we're we're quite proud of the fact that the Musos Club in Invercargill can. Uh, you know, can provide a venue for these guys to play. Are you going to have a few old photographs and videos uh, for people to watch on the weekend? Hmm. Ah, There's a thought. That's, that, that, that's that's uh, something we haven't thought of, actually, Leanne. Oh, we, we need to get you on our committee. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be on the committee. I'll, I'll give you some tips. <laughs> but, yeah. no, I just thought... <laughs> yeah, like, no, no, you know, good idea. Good. good idea, yeah. Even some we'll photos. See, we'll see how we go, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Mm. Hey, so I can't believe, just looking at this story here, that, um, that the Vision had, like, uh, a, um, a residency that was, like, went for 16 years or something in Invercargill. Yeah, yeah, that's right, at the White House, yeah. And four nights a week it was, too, Wednesday, Wednesday through Saturday. Wow. Um, so, and uh, we actually played four nights and rehearsed two nights. So, you know, that was... Uh, it was pretty full on and a, and a, a really big commitment. But, um, you know, we loved it because we, we used to get good crowds and everybody, <coughs> excuse me, uh, everybody used to, you know, uh, enjoy the band and that. And so mm. it was great. We got great feedback from the, uh, from the people. But, and, of course, I have to say that, you know, I was behind the drum kit five nights a week in those days. So... My chops were certainly up. A lot, lot better than they, would, they are now, I can tell you that. <laughs> you would have been fit to do that, Trevor. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Mm. As indeed we all were, you know. Mm. How about the... Um, Good days. How about the, uh, the Granny's Bar at the Northern, which doesn't exist anymore? That was uh, Route 66 uh, uh, sort yeah. of stomping ground. It was, yeah, it was. Um, uh, I, it, it, of course, it, it wasn't actually... Um, uh, officially uh, titled Granny's Bar by the by the licensing trust, you know. Mm. I mean, it was uh, it sort of came from uh, guys who'd say, "Oh, go along there and grab a granny," you know, which is Ooh, is probably that, not. Is that probably, that should I say that? Should I say that? Yes, hundred percent. No, I should think I? it's funny. Oh. You mean you mean like an an older woman? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, because you not were... not that I did, of course. I would never. <laughs> I would never. Granny's that, far. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, and and of course, Route sixty six uh, did play there a lot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's funny. That's very funny. Route well, sixty six you know. are probably going to be more sort of the the eighties end of the um, of the show. You know, okay. They, they were just a little bit uh, a little bit after the other the other guys. Right. And and I should I should emphasise too the fact that Teen Beat Five, um, they're not teens anymore. 
<laughs> no. So well, they haven't changed their name because of that? No. <laughs> no, no, no. No. We, we, we couldn't call it the octogenarian beat five. Beat five. It just hasn't got the same <laughs> hasn't got the same ring, has it? How old how old are they now, these guys? Oh, oh I, I, I well let's let's say that there's none of them that aren't in their sixties, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, and and certainly certainly uh, into their seventies. Like a lot of a lot of guys on the show uh, will be in their seventies, mm. but they're still rocking. Yeah, you know. Of course they are. Yeah. No. Yeah, and it's uh, like music does keep you li- keep you young, Leanne. You know. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I I think yeah. so, I think that I think that's very true. And if you look at people like Mick Jagger, well, he's testament to that, isn't he? You know. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. You know, like I always say, with, when I, I mean, I'm retired now, but uh, at my, my old day job, I used to work with guys that were younger than I was that were older than me, if you understand what I mean. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's right. So, yeah. So mm-hmm. this, this weekend, when are you actually kicking off? Uh, okay, right. So it's, uh, the doors open at 7 o'clock on Saturday. Right. And the, and the show will kick off at 8 o'clock. And uh, we'll go right through to, well, till we finish. Could be an all-nighter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and there there are still tickets available. Uh, we have released some more tickets, so um, okay. they can be got gotten from uh, Little Fire Music Works. Just pop in and see Hayden there, Little or Fire. at the Ascot yep. Park itself. Yeah, Little Fire Music Works in D Street. Yeah, in D Street, brilliant. That's a great name. Yeah, yeah. Big big thanks to Hayden for all his help with uh, selling these tickets. We nice. re- we really appreciate it. Brilliant. Yep. Or you can get them from the Ascot Hotel itself. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, just forty five dollars. Yeah, see that's great. So, you and, know, and you get you get it's, it's four only, only ten dollars band. band. That's right. Yeah. 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 Playing everything, mm. all sorts of different songs. Yeah, yeah. And I will guarantee that everybody will know the song. As I say, if they can't sing the verse, they'll be able to sing the chorus. Dead right. Well, I just think it's yeah. a wonderful institution, the Southland Musicians Club, and it's helped and, and encouraged so many great, um, great performers. And I think, yeah, well, you know, good on you. I, 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 I'm, I'm pretty proud of being, being their president, you know. It's, uh, and, and as I say, just being involved with music in general, you know, it's, uh, it's, music is my life, really, you know. Yeah, well, you wouldn't want to do anything else, would you? No, absolutely not. No, no. <laughs> if it's if it's in it's you, a, it's, it's a in you. Thing. Oh, it is. It's a, great. And uh, the thing now, now that I'm retired, of course, uh, the, the the club, the Muso's club, gets me out of the house. You know, gives me something to do. <laughs> Dead right. Your wife, your, your wife's saying, "Come on, Trevor, time to time to uh, buzz off. Give me some space. Yeah. Off you go. Yeah, down to the yeah, Muso's absolutely. Club. Yep, yep. Oh, Get it, out of here. Yeah. Well, it's it's like I guess it feels like a big family, right? Oh well, it is. It is, and it, it, the, the, the wonderful thing about the club, like any club, is uh, you can go there by yourself, and you, you walk in, and you know you're going to know somebody, you know, which is great. Well, exactly. So it's like it's you know you're getting that socialisation, that community feel, plus some um, and enjoying playing music and hanging out with you know like-minded people. It's a win-win. Exactly. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. It's, uh, yeah. You know, you 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 know when you go to play it, play at the Musos Club that the. Uh, the, lo- the local race, the horse racing meeting is not going to be showing on the tally in the corner and you're not going to have to shift, shift the pool table to set up your gear and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. How many times have you gone to you know, pubs and they've got the TV in the background and you're like, turn it off? Yeah, 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 no, yeah, not, yeah. Not good. So, and Trevor, what, yeah. so will you be with The Vision this weekend? No, 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 no! I'm not. A, I'm not You're actually not playing stage? this weekend. Okay. Uh, no, um, Warren uh, or Bricky McClue, the original drummer for the Vision. He's actually he's actually playing in the in the Vision set. Yeah. So there's uh, what have we got? We've got uh, yeah, two two of the original members, and <laughs> then Brian Gerard. He was the second bass player, and yep. then Tony Ross was. The second singer, I think, and and of course um, Tony Saint, son Sam was playing guitar. Yeah, no, that's a great combo. I know these two well, yeah. and boy, they are just so gifted. They're both great musicians. Yeah, 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 and 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 they're, they're having fun, and uh, yeah, no, it's it's uh, I, it was sort of 
better that I uh, stepped aside from behind the kit for this weekend because uh, <laughs> i got plenty else to do, you know. <laughs> yeah, you're busy enough and you can enjoy but, it too. Uh, but, but uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. But Bricky, he's a wonderful drummer anyway, so... Uh, yeah. Nice. Oh, it sounds like a great weekend, and uh, if you want tickets, they're only $45, and I'll, I'll talk about that through the show, uh, Trevor, just so people, if they want to get in on there. If, would there be possibly door sales? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Mm. Yeah, yeah. We, we're, we're, we're not going to turn anybody away. No, brilliant. Oh, well, all the yeah. best for a fantastic weekend of music in Invercargill, and uh, Trevor Daly, thanks so much for talking to us. It was great. Oh. Uh, Leanne, my pleasure, and thank you very much for the opportunity. Brilliant. All right, wonderful stuff. What a nice way to start Monday, hey, with uh, the president of the Southland Musicians Club. And uh, it's a big weekend they've got planned at the uh, Ascot Hotel. Stayed there. Good place. It's huge, huge, the Ascot. And uh, there'll be all these bands, and they're performing for $45. And uh, they go they go way back. And some, of the, as he said, uh, there's even one uh, guitarist, or I'm not sure what... He, what what instrument he plays actually but anyway he's flying from the states to be a part of this uh, big weekend uh, to celebrate 20 years of the Musos Club in Invercargill good stuff hey eh?